Hello, my name is Dwight Anderson, and today I will be teaching you how to prepare and cook a delightful Philly cheesesteak. The recipe I've chosen will make four. First, you will need your choice of bread. I'm going with sub rolls. One and a half pounds of ribeye steak, eight ounces of provolone cheese, one or two green peppers, depending upon their size, and one or two red peppers. One yellow onion and a few mushrooms. For seasoning, I like a little garlic powder. You will need butter and olive oil, a suitable pan and stove, baking sheets, and an oven, as well as at least one sharp knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. After obtaining your supplies, you are ready to prepare. Start by cutting up the steak into small pieces, about quarter inch cubes, and chop up the veggies. Once everything is cut, prep your pan with oil and saute the vegetables over a low medium heat. Make sure to avoid scorching them. Once the veggies are nice and tenderized, set them aside for now. Butter your pan and brown up your ribeye. Once the meat is cooked, pour out any excess liquid, then mix in those veggies and lay your cheese on top. Mix it all up together and you are almost done. Split those sub rolls open and set them on a baking sheet. Divvy up the cooked contents of your frying pan into the sub rolls. Then put the Philly cheesesteaks in a preheated oven set at 400 degrees just to toast them up a little bit. After a couple minutes, Carefully take them out of the oven. And there you go. You have a delightful Philly cheesesteak. I gotta try this. You know, that's pretty good. Anyway, until next time.